Welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. Joining us now is Richard James of the Devon James Injury Lawyers. Good morning. Thanks for having me in. I appreciate it so much, Dane. A pleasure to have you on the show. We've talked we've talked before and we're talking veteran salutes. Correct. And so every Wednesday on our sister station, KSNT, we recognize a veteran in the area. And you stepped up to help those service members members with a generous donation. So can you speak on the kind of what your goals are with veteran salutes? You know, why did you want to be a part of it? You bet, Dane. We really want to ensure that veterans know that their service was appreciated. Too many of our veterans served, gave a significant portion of their life, lost people they loved and care about, and then maybe didn't come home to the recognition that they deserved. I think we're better about that now as a society, but maybe in years past, specifically for our Vietnam era veterans, did not get the love and respect that they deserve. And so thank you so much to KSNT and Fox 43 for partnering with us to recognize these veterans to tell their story, and then for them to talk about how their lives were shaped by their service in the military. And we've just had some great stories and some great veterans from all over the viewing area. Of course, and I know we've had some, as you said, wonderful stories and, with, and some great stories recently with, like, for instance, Navy veteran Jeff Landers and Vietnam veteran John Corsack. And I know you you chat with them a lot when, when you guys get everybody together to do the check presentations. What can you tell us about their stories? What does it mean for you to kind of talk to them face to face? Well, it's just a great connection. It's amazing to see the veterans connect from different areas, different branches of service, and see how they're encouraged and rejuvenated to be sure that they're not forgotten. And correspondingly, the current people serving won't be forgotten for their service. I mean, just some great stories. Um, you know, Jeff Landers talked about how he had never seen the ocean and joined the Navy and then spent significant time, over 600 days on a submarine, and connected while we were there with another person who'd significantly serve time on that submarine. So it's a fabulous story to see them connect. And then we love how it's taking people to the communities, not just Topeka, but we've recognized a significant number of Emporia veterans, people that grew up in Junction City. So send us your veterans. Mm -hmm. That's what you can do to help KSNT and Devon James is nominate a veteran. If you go to church with somebody, if you have somebody next door or your grandpa or your uncle or your grandmother served, nominate them. It's so simple. KSNT puts an easy link on their website. You put it on there, it goes directly to the KSNT anchor, Matthew Johnstone, who does it. So send us those veterans, please, please. But yes, please do, because I, I, we've, I, again, we've spoken on this before, that the importance of just sharing those stories out there. There are some amazing, powerful stories, and they're not being told. They're just disappearing. And it's great that you guys are trying to get the word out, trying to bring those back to the forefront so we can almost kind of learn from our past and honor it and cherish it. Yeah, well said. And I think the veterans should know that KSNT is going to make a great story that's going to honor and recognize them, something that they can show to their grandkids or to people that were important to them. And it's amazing how once a veteran appears, how they connect with other veterans that they maybe haven't seen for years, and then they'll start connecting and really renews that sense of hope. And, and even though some difficult times, some good memories of not only their service and what they did for our country, but how they were shaped by their time in the service. Of course. And also with the donations, we spoke about this before, where some of the veterans that they, they get the check, but they want to also share it out with people, giving back. It, I think that's such a wonderful, um, give it, pay it forward, if you will. How did, did that come into your mind when you started this program that you would be reaching out to even more people? Great question. That's something the veterans brought all on their own accord. So many of them said, hey, I recently went on this honor flight, or I recently saw a friend that was helped by this particular American Legion charity or something like that, and they wanted to spread that out, which, which is fabulous. Not shocking when you're talking men and women that gave up a significant chunk of their life to serve our country, that, that they take a small benefit to them and they pass it on to others. But it's really neat to see the, the hearts of these people and how they want to ensure that every veteran is recognized and every story is told and so just a thousand thanks to you for letting us on your show this morning to talk about that and we want to remind our viewers that every wednesday night on ksnt there's going to be a great story about a veteran and so tune in
There you go. Richard, thank you so much for joining us today. This has been a pleasure. And again, I love, I love what you're trying to do here. I love trying to s s share, this, share the stories and sh just share the generosity. It's fantastic. And once again, check out Veteran Salutes Wednesday nights on, over on KSNT at 10 p.m. And if you want to nominate a veteran, you can go to ksnt.com slash veteran salute. Thanks, Dane. Appreciate thank you. you.